I'm Simon from Demond Education and welcome to our new show, The Leadership Lens. Whether you're an experienced leader, an aspiring leader or just obliged to be a leader, there'll be something in this series that will be useful to you. This seemed an ideal way to start this series. If we can think of leadership of having one major goal, that being of enabling others to be brilliant, then we're in a good position going forward. If leaders can have a continual internal or even external dialogue with themselves that consists of asking, what can I do? What did I do? And what am I going to do? These questions are going to be 100% on the right track to help create successfully performing teams. I'm going to be covering these questions in much more detail later on in the series, so don't forget to subscribe. The reason why I think it's a great place to start is because simply put, if your team is performing brilliantly, then you as the person or people who have supported, who have nurtured and have enabled this brilliant performance have also been performing brilliantly. I think it's such a simple concept to keep in mind, even when all the other stuff connected with our work becomes complicated. We have to step back from the self-important and autocratic approach to leadership. I'm certainly in no way diminishing the role of leadership as being vitally important. However, the role is about our actions, our behaviours and the culture that we develop, create and nurture that is supporting and giving our colleagues the optimum conditions to thrive. We need to ensure that they have all the tools that they need, working from the premise that if they don't have the tools, the resources and the knowledge, then they can't use them. And if they don't have the right skills, they can't demonstrate them. Leaders provide, leaders support, leaders develop and leaders inspire. Receiving recognition for our endeavours, our successes and doing things well is something that nearly all humans desire. And as leaders, we are no different. But we must also take pleasure and satisfaction from seeing others improving, others excelling and showing brilliance. We must be secure in the understanding and knowledge of the role that we have played in enabling others to shine. We must take immense pride in the excellent performances of others. That's my team. That's my colleague doing that. And I know that in some way I've contributed to it. The leadership role is crucial. And while we should bask in the glory and successes of others, we also need to know that we have had a fundamental role to play in this. As leaders, we provide the very best conditions that are conducive for successful performances. I'm going to cover all these areas individually later on in the series. As leaders, we provide the right organisational culture to promote success, the right skills and knowledge that enables successful performances, the right conditions and mindsets to enable progress, growth, learning and development. As this series progresses, you'll see that I love a good quote. This one is unattributed, but the message of leadership being about inspiring and enabling others is very clear. Over time, I'm going to be covering the areas of authentic evaluations, authentic reviewing and reporting, because these are crucial skills for leaders to have. They hinge on both authenticity and appropriateness. We need to ensure that the information, insights and feedback we get are valid, authentic, relevant and most of all useful. If they are none of these, then to be honest, what was the point? Invalid or irrelevant data and information serves absolutely no purpose. But more about that later on in the series. A couple of crucial skills I feel every leader needs to have is the ability for constant reflection and then planning for action. Leadership is a doing role. You have to do things to be a leader. Your actions need to have impact and they have to have purpose. Ask yourself this question. What are your team, either collectively or as individuals, doing better or even brilliantly that you have supported and enabled in some way? These are the things that you should be proud of. Your leadership has helped facilitate and nurture these outcomes. I've already mentioned earlier that without the right resources, without the right tools, your team can't use them. Your team also can't demonstrate skills or knowledge that they don't possess. So have a think about your team again, either collectively or as individuals. Do they have everything that they need to enable them to perform brilliantly? Think about the resources, the 
the skills, the knowledge. Now we need to get to the doing part of leadership. Identify any gaps and make a plan for plugging them ASAP. If we as leaders do not plug the gaps, then the potential for brilliant performances are going to slip right through them. Here's another bit of self-reflection and review. Now we're all busy with lots of different, complex and multifaceted elements to our roles. However, if we're going to drive improvement and support and enable others to perform brilliantly, we have to be actually doing something that will have an impact. Can you identify any specific things that you are currently doing or planning to do that will be targeting the development of others? If you are able to think of some actions that you are currently taking to support others, then brilliant. If you couldn't think of anything that will impact the development of others, maybe go back to the list of gaps that need plugging and add one, two or more actions to take. A final thought for you as a leader. What are you going to do today to support brilliance? Each of our sessions will have an infographic to go with them which has the main points of what's been covered, so don't forget to download yours before you go. We will be adding new content each week, so don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that alert bell to get notified when we upload a new programme. If there is a particular area or issue you'd like us to cover during the series, leave us a comment or send me an email. I look forward to hearing from you.